I guess it's been 10 years that I've been exploring different technologies around the body. One thing that really stuck with me was this idea of, of sound and using sound embedded into wearable sculpture. I was in Barcelona for the first time 20 years ago, performing at the Sonar Festival in 1995. I was already using muscle interfaces. But there wasn't a hack day about muscle interfaces. Normally when you think about a festival, you think about having fun. But this other perspective of coming to produce also content is a really nice add-on to the festival. I think this is the best example of a music hack day. I think what's special about this event is that there's a really close collaboration between academics and the music hackers. We need to prove that there's a very fast path between research and the market. It gives us, for us, from the labs, opportunities to push the technology out and to try it out with new kinds of people. With all those people here at Sonar, it brings a lot of technology, a lot of experts, a lot of things to play with for hikers. Literally next door to you, there's people of all skills and also amazing tools that you can just use. Music Bricks is a set of tools that have been developed specifically for the kind of people that come to these sort of hack days, like hackers and makers and programmers and coders. We're here as a Rapid Mix consortium to throw a lot of our technology as Music Hack Day hackers, see what they do with them. So it's been our strategy to bring the tools to such events and then see what the hackers could do, create uh, new use cases and eventually turn them into products. The Music Hack Day is an incredible place to hire the best people so we then can build the best companies that then fill the gap between the universities, the investigation, to the market. For me, it's really insightful to see what are people doing with our board. Our developers are here to help every team with any technology making music or performing music. You can prototype and work out ideas really quickly. I have to work on the accessible musical instrument, so it's a hands-free MIDI controller. Our overall aim of our hack is to control a robot using music. We are working on a hack using a wearable technology that we've been working with Adafruit products as well as incorporating the Vitalino. I'm building uh, boogie shoes, so shoes that teach you how to dance. I'm inspired by the Touchboard, which is a product by Bear Conductive, so combining machine learning with capacitive touch sensing. I think what wearable technology brings to the music industry is a new era of gestural music. I like that we're going back to this music as an experience, as a performance. It's not thinking about what the technology can do because it can do it, but to take what technology is capable of and think of a deeper human thing to do. When you've only got a day and you've got some materials and some people and you come together and you just freestyle, you just go for it, then there's usually magic that results from that.